Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narottamam Devim Sarasatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudiraya Nasta Praeshu Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhakti Bhavati Naistiki Krishna Swadamo Bhagate Dharma Jnana Devi Saha Kalonishta Drishamisha Puranato Drino Drita So welcome everyone to 2023 Safari Of course uh, this safari is usually in the desert, but we're not really going in the desert. We're going to be in a wonderful Krishna conscious atmospheres. We're going first of all to Durgapur. What, there's no proper temple there, but there are many devotees there. And they have a very big Rathiatra there every year. Jaipataka Swami went there last year for Rathiatra. It's a very big Rathiatra. So many, many devotees. It's a big congregation and they're looking forward to the, our devotees coming there. We're going to give association to the devotees in these different parts around the country. We'll go, we'll, we'll go to Jarakand. Jarakhand is one of the poorest states in India. But people are more pious, more religious. And Lord Chaitanya, of course, went through the forest of Jarakhand. And we'll see the place where Lord Chaitanya danced with the wild animals. And then we will see also the nice temple at Patna, a new temple which was opened just some months ago. Very big temple. So we're going also to Gaya. So Gaya is place, usually we think of Gaya, that's a Buddhist place. But there's also Vishnu Gaya. There's a famous footprint of Lord Vishnu there in Gaya. And we know Lord Chaitanya went to Gaya to do Shrad for his father. And that was when Lord Chaitanya took initiation at that time, when he went to Gaya. He met with Ishwara Puri. So I was thinking that this is not really a desert we're going to, it's not a safari. Safari is in the desert, very hot, very dry, dusty. You go to the desert countries, it's not very pleasant. But we're not going in the desert. We're going nice, fertile places. And of course, we're going to sow the seeds of Krishna consciousness, to plant more seeds. Chaitanya Charitamrita says, Brahmanda Brahmite Konya Bhagavanji, Guru Krishna Prasadi Pai. Bhakti Lata Beach. Bhakti Lata Beach, right. We're going to do some gardening. We're going to plant the seed, the beach, the Bhakti Lata Beach, the seed of devotion. We have to plant some seeds and in this way make more devotees. Right? When people come and see all the devotees from so many different countries, all chanting and dancing, it's very inspiring for the Indian people. They're, they think, oh, 
so many people from so many countries, different countries, different parts of the world, and they've taken up their culture. So Prabhupada understood the value of bringing foreign people to India. And that was how Prabhupada began the Krishna Consciousness Movement in India. He didn't begin Krishna Consciousness in India, he went to America to begin Krishna Consciousness. And then he brought the Western devotees to India and they traveled around India preaching and it was a sensation. It was a sensation. Everywhere, all over India, people knew Hare Krishna people. And so we got a very good reputation. You know, 1970s. I, I came to India in 1975. It was very primitive. India in 1970s, you know, it was really quite basic, very simple. But people were very attracted to our movement, to see the devotees was a big thing. And they, they, that's how they, they coined the phrase, the dancing white elephants. That because the devotees would come and chant and dance. So people had never seen that before. Just like we saw Namruchi, they've been doing Harinam around the Mayapur temple and they're attracting so many people to come and chant and dance. So people like Kirtan, they like to chant and dance. We have to encourage them, we have to inspire them to Krishna consciousness. They need, they need some boost and this is our job. Just like Vidura came back to Hastinapur, Vidura came in Srimad Bhagavatam, there's a verse, Bhavad Vida Bhagavatas, Tirta Bhuta Swayam Vibho, Tirta Bhuta Swayam Vibho, Tirti Kurvanti Tirtani, Tirti Kurvanti Tirtani, Swantaste Nagada Brita, Swantaste Nagada Brita, this verse is spoken by, who's speaking? Maharaj Yudhisthira. And who is he speaking to? To Vidura. Vidura. He's telling Vidura, you are the personification of the holy places. So each of us, we are also like that. We're like Vidura going to Hastinapur. Vidura had gone to visit all the holy places. He traveled for many years. Duryodhana had driven him out from Hastinapur. Duryodhana, the wicked son of Dhritarashtra, drove Vidura out. Get out, you rascal! Before I whip you, I should. He wanted to whip Vidura. So Vidura got out, and Vidura thought, very nice. He thought, this is. Krishna's arrangement, that Krishna said, he's driven me out of the palace. Now I have to go to visit the holy places. And he went to visit many holy places and he got wonderful association with Uddhava and Maitreya. And he heard all the instructions of Lord Krishna. So after many years of traveling in the holy places, he came back to Hastinapur. So we have been fortunate. We've been living here in Mayapur. I don't know how long you've been here, but you know, we've been here in Mayapur. Even a moment in Mayapur is worth many, many, many years. It's better than many, many years in the material world. Mayapur is the kingdom of God, right? The holy dam. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu resides here eternally. And we are leaving Mayapur to go, to give 
the message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to everyone. Right? Prabhu, just like Prabhupada stayed in India, he was in Vrindavan, but he left. He went to America. Why? Goravani Pricharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine. Prabhupada went to this Paschatya Desh, the western countries, to, de to deliver them from Nirvishesha and Shunyavada by Goravani, by preaching the message of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, the same way we're leaving Mayapur, we want to bring the message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Durgapur, right? <laughs> Durgapur, oh it sounds terrible, oh my goodness, Durgapur, <laughs> the people must all be worshipping Mother Durga there. But, but that's Bengal, the whole of Bengal, they're devotees of Mother Durga. Nothing wrong with that. It's a Vedic culture. They're worshipping the demigods, but it's a Vedic culture. Yeah, and we we know that if if they're actually following the Vedic culture, then they will come from worshipping Mother Durga, they'll go on to come to worship Lord Krishna. They'll come to understand the Supreme Lord. So we have to bring them a little help them to advance a little more to understand that the fruit of the worship of Mother Durga will be antabhattu palam tesham tadbhavati alpa medasam, right? So the, the fruit of their worship will be limited, antabhat palam tesham, the fruit will be very limited in temple antabhattu palam tesham limited and temporary and their brain is this guy alpha medesha small brain so we have to give them the good brain we have to make them su medesaha instead of alpha medesha we want them to become su medesaha right in the kali yuga we don't kill the demons we kill the demonic mentality by preaching Krishna Consciousness and by giving them the Sankirtan Movement. The Sankirtan Movement, that's what we're coming for, to do thank to give Sankirtan, to inspire them in the chanting of the Holy Name and to bring them out of their lethargy and their, their ignorance, let them understand the higher truth. So Lord Chaitanya's movement is meant for this. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had made the prediction that the holy name would be chanted Nagar Adi Gram. Nagar Adi Gram. Nagar. Durgapur is like Nagar. Nagar is like a town. And Gram is the village. The Gram. That's the village. Gramyakata. Village talk. So Gram Adi Gram, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, every town and village the holy name would be heard. And we are going to do our little part in that mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by going to visit different towns and villages to chant the holy name and to give the Sankirtan movement. Prabhupada said, Preaching is not just discussing philosophy. He said you have to establish the Sankirtan movement. People's spiritual life begins when they start to chant the holy name. So we want to encourage them in the chanting of the holy name. How to encourage them? By doing it ourselves. Just like Lord Krishna wanted to give people the mood of Vrindavan, he wanted to encourage them in the mood of the people of Vrindavan. He wanted them to develop Raga Bhakti. How to do it? He had to come himself and show them how to do it. By chanting the holy name, by doing Sankirtan. This was Braja Bhakti. 
So the same way, we have to show people how to chant the holy name, how to do Sankirtan. So we go there, we do our chanting and dancing and preaching, and we hope they will take it up. Of course, there's already many devotees there, but we will encourage them more. We will encourage them to continue to expand this mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu everywhere. So Krishna consciousness is in every living entity's heart. It just simply takes association. Good association is very important. So people are very eager to get association. And you see, when we go to Durgapura, when we go to Padna, these places, you see, many people will come, big crowds of people. And we have to show them how to be Krishna conscious devotee, how to chant and dance nicely. We want to inspire them in their Krishna consciousness. So when, they, when the people see how we have come from South America and China and Russia and Africa and Europe, they will see we have come from so many places then they can understand Krishna consciousness is working. It's a real genuine process that it has its positive effect. People all over the world are taking up Krishna consciousness. And we are actually going to show them that we've come from all the corners of the world just to convince them to chant Hare Krishna mantra. So we pray to Lord Chaitanya to empower us, right? Kali Yuga Dharma Harinam Sankirtan Krishna Shakti Vininahi Tara Pravartan. Chaitanya Charitamrita says, propagating the holy name of Krishna requires empowerment. We have to become empowered. We need the Krishna Shakti. So, just like if you if you're if you're involved in some lawyer some legal case so then you may hire a lawyer to go to court to represent you you may think i don't want to go to court i'll just hire a lawyer to go there on my behalf so the same way krishna doesn't come himself but he sends the devotees and he empowers the devotees to go there to preach Krishna consciousness, to give Krishna consciousness to everyone. So this is, the, we are all being, we have all been authorized by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to go and distribute this holy name on behalf of Srila Prabhupada and his Krishna consciousness movement. We are all the representatives and we have to remember that, that we are representing Srila Prabhupada and not only Srila Prabhupada but all the Acharyas all the way up to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is con connecting us to Lord Krishna. So we have a great responsibility to deliver this Krishna consciousness but we know it's possible by the mercy of Krishna. We ourselves can do nothing, but with the mercy of Krishna, then everything can happen. Right? We always, there's always, there's that prayer we always say, Mukam Karoti Vachalam, Yad Kripata Mahambande, Paramananda, Sri Chaitanya, like that, by the mercy of the Panchatattva, a lame man can cross mountains, a blind man can see the stars, and a dumb man can recite poetry. So this is to convince us the power of the, 
the holy name, the power of the holy, the empowerment comes with the holy name. Srila Prabhupada has given us the holy name on behalf of Krishna and Lord Chaitanya. And we want to deliver that holy name, to distribute it to one and all everywhere, beginning in Durgapur. We're hoping, anyway, if the bus ever comes, <laughs> the other bus, we're waiting for the bus to come. We don't know what's happening, but anyway, our program is not till this evening. The schedule was that we would take lunch in Durgapur and then we'd take rest in the afternoon and then there's a program in the evening. So hopefully we will be there for the evening. <laughs> we, we hope. But we're waiting to see for the bus to come. So Krishna consciousness is such a wonderful thing for a devotee. There's never any time to waste because we have so much to do. We have so many slokas to learn, so many rounds to chant. You know, there's some, so, there's some parikram books here which have the songs in it. If you don't have the songs, if you don't have the Vaishnava songs on your mobile phone, you might like to take one of these books because they have the Vaishnava songs in it. And we would like to sing some of these songs in the course of our uh, touring as we go around, especially when we're traveling in the buses and different programs. It's very nice to be able to sing some of these songs. If you don't know the words, then you can take one of these books. They're free. But if you have a mobile phone, Put the app in. There's a Vaishnava song app you can put into your phone and then you can read the songs from your phone. It's very good. Try to make a program on this touring when we're traveling around. Make a program to learn more things. You can learn the Vaishnava songs. We want you to also start learning. You can take advantage. We'll be traveling from one place to another. Try to learn slokas, memorizing slokas from Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. It's very nice. And you can even learn some Bengali and try to speak to the local people. If you can speak some Bengali, they'll be so happy. I should also, I don't know anything. <laughs> but it's definitely nice to be able to say a little bit Bengali, right? Who speaks good Bengali? You know any Bengali, Maharaj? No? Who? Is he? He's coming? He's Bengali though. Well, of course, Bengali people speak Bengali. You know? We want some foreigners to speak. All right. How, how do they say hello in Bengali? What do they say? Huh? Balo Achen. Balo Achen. Ami Balo. Ami Balo. Bot Balo. Bot Balo. Balo Achen. Balo Achen. Balo Achen. Balo Achen. Okay. So when you meet the Bengal. Balo Achen. Ah, my Bali Balo. My Balo. Amar. Bandu. Bandu. Amar Bandu. Amar Bandu. Amar Bandu. Amar Bandu. Yes, brother. You want to say lunch for Sadhana is very tasty. You say Macha Macha. Ah, yes. Macha. Macha Macha. Macha Macha. Say it again. Macha Macha. Macha Macha. Ojamoti. Ojamoti. 
He's lived in Maipur a long time. He knows Bengali some. He's South American, but he knows some Bengali. He's been living in Maipur a long time. Bhajan, how's the say? Prasadam good? The prasadam is good? Bhajan <laughs> anyway, Balu Achan. Mm. Then, what else they can say? Dostaka. <laughs> You can say. Yamon Ajan. Yamon Ajan. Of course, when we go to big, when we go to Jarakan, they speak Hindi there, <laughs> not Bengali. So once you go to Jarakan, it's going to be Hindi. Hindi me bakar sakti. Hindi signa asan hai. Bangla jani. Me Bangla jani ne. Hindi. Yeah, they're more interested to hear the Chinese say Bengali. <laughs> so we, we want to give everyone, of course, the holy name. Right? We get everyone. Jorse Bolo! Jorse Bolo! Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! Krishna Krishna! Hare Hare! Hare Rama! Hare Rama! Rama Rama! Hare Hare! Okay, so I don't know what's happening now. No, time is going. What time now? Oh, it's it after nine o'clock. Oh. Okay, any question? Anybody? Okay. Anybody wants a book? Want to take some? If they want, if they don't have it. Support here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.